Some 31,000 tenants in the F&B and retail sectors are among the eligible SMEs, which will benefit from additional landlord rental waivers. New laws passed today require commercial property landlords to give a two-month rental waiver to qualifying SME tenants across all sectors. And that's on top of two months of relief provided by the government to help businesses cope with the impact of COVID-19. Industrial and office landlords will need to match a one-month relief from the government. Geraldine Ya with more. To qualify for the additional rental waiver, tenants must satisfy a set of criteria. They include a 2019 turnover of less than $100 million and a drop in average monthly revenue of at least 35% in April and May compared to the same period last year. Law Minister K. Shanmugam said the relief would help SMEs to tide through this difficult period, which would in turn benefit the landlords themselves and the economy. Some MPs welcomed the measures, but also shared their concerns. Can ministers share if there has been an assessment of whether the rental relief measures will unnecessarily prolong the exit of unviable businesses or benefit some, such businesses at the cost of landlords and taxpayers' monies? It's not as if we are asking them to get onto a cruise liner and they will, everyone is going to be saved. We are throwing them a lifeline of a few months rental waiver. But it, the seas are still rough. Business conditions are going to be tough. People will have to swim very hard. So it will only be the very fit, the viable businesses that will survive that period, even with the relief that we are giving. Landlords who can't afford to provide the additional waiver can seek an assessment. Those who qualify will give only half of the waivers. MP Christopher de Souza shared his concern for smaller landlords who may not be able to afford the waivers. We need a flexible system to differentiate between large corporate landlords and the landlords who have invested in small commercial shop houses and spaces as a form of, say, retirement income. It is for this reason that I am asking the Minister for financial hardship to be defined broadly and flexibly to strike the right balance between the smaller landlords and the larger corporate landlords. The two factors to be taken into account are the annual value of the property and the proportion the rental forms of the landlord's total income. This will allow us to distinguish between land, larger landlords and those who are heavily dependent on the rental income for their livelihoods. And the precise uh, sort of proportions, percentages will be set out in subset legislation. The new laws will also include allowing qualifying SMEs to repay their rental arrears in instalments for up to nine months and a cap on late payment interests or charges for specific contracts. They will kick in at the end of next month.